Welcome back friends, uh, welcome to know your examination series of videos and in this uh, video of know the exam we are going to talk about ICMR okay ICMR exam is uh, very near now so I am going to publish this video almost like one week ago of ICMR exam uh, so it's the full form stands for Indian Council of Medical Research and this is an institution based on the name they also conduct an entrance examination people also used to call it ICMR exam so in this ICMR exam what are the different pattern of the questions are there and what are the different uh, like uh, features of that exam that's what I'll talk to today and along with that I'll also tell you a little tips of how to prepare for ICMR exam in a better way now ICMR exam uh, the first thing that I want to say is about the syllabus so the first thing syllabus and the syllabus of ICMR exam is exactly the same as the CSIR UGC net CSIR net syllabus so if you have that syllabus there it's exactly the same I'm not going to talk about the syllabus in details here so it contains 13 separate units and covers almost everything that is known under life science okay so it's from zoology like it's biochemistry cell biology molecular biology uh, then microbial pathology and then <clears throat> development biology, plant physiology, animal physiology, uh, genetics, uh, classification and uh, environmental biology and ecology, evolutionary biology, biological techniques and applied biology. These are all 13 se uh, separate units that are present there in all this syllabus. Now the second thing uh, about this exam is that it mostly follows the CSI and NET uh, category of questions. but uh, alongside of this syllabus about the exam so this exam is divided into two different groups on the other hand CSI and it is divided into three different groups but this one is divided to section A or part A and part B or C now the difference between the two is the total exam is of one uh, 25 marks and that is the total marks and the time is two hours <clears throat> that's the overall uh, exam scheme now in this 125 marks the first part or part a is a common paper that's an aptitude paper uh, it also carries general knowledge for science and also uh, data interpretation uh, numerical aptitude and reasoning those are the things that are present in part A and this is compulsory you need to answer this one on the other hand the second section is either B or C now B or C means either it can be from life sciences or it can be from social sciences okay so in the life science field any other discipline from life sciences can apply like zoology botany human physiology uh, microbiology, immunology, biochemistry, any other field, molecular biology, biotechnology, from any field you can apply for uh, this ICMR NET exam. And ICMR NET it goes for this com common aptitude part A and then part B. On the other hand, people from social science can also appear for ICMR NET exam. And that's an important thing because which is not allowed in CSIR UGC NET, but allowed in ICMR NET, social studies like psychology, sociology, social sciences all these things also incorporated there and you can apply for that is C and this is B now B and C you can choose either of uh, one either B or C but A you must choose it's compulsory so the total number of question asked in the exam from uh, the group A is 50 and you need to answer all of it no choice is there and each question is of one mark so 50 into one total marks gives you 50 on the other hand either for B or C the scheme of questions is almost the same the total number of question asked is 100 and you need to answer 75 of them for both either B or C so each question marks one so 75 into 1 75 so total marks 50 plus 75 is 125 the time given is two hours now this is the overall question patterns and stuff like that now the question is uh, how you should prepare for it and what is the ex exact type of question that are generally asked if you look at here the all the questions are there is from uh, marks one so one mark only so one mark question a little bit easy to answer you probably think that and actually it is 
a lot easy question compared with uh, the CSI UGC net questions because in CSI UGC net we have group A, B and C and you know the C is the difficult one where we have analytical question and marks 4 for each question, B only 2 and A also 2 marks but actually the question asked in us uh, in, in this ICMR net exam is mostly like very flat basic MCQ questions and those questions resembling the group B of CSR UGC net exam although the same type of question but mark here is 1 and the total number of question you need to attend is 150 the total question 150 you need to attend 125 of them now the question is between these two uh, the question that are asked in um, in this group B for the life science students or social science students are really really easy the question is mostly memory based type and even though they ask a little bit of analytical question but those are short you don't need to calculate very much there are some problems from biochemistry but it may be solved within one two equations that's that's what they uh, they can ask that's that's the main difference okay so that is the type of question but the pattern of the question if you look for life sciences is mostly linked to few of the chapters more compared to the rest like biochemistry uh, then molecular biology uh, then the pathogenic infections and diseases and then obviously associated with uh, the biostatistics a little bit bioinformatic techniques and biological techniques which are very very important in terms of icmr net exam especially and also human physiology a little bit of plant physiology in, in fact plant pathology a little bit those are the part uh, of the question that is very very important for icmr perspective while on the other hand group a is aptitude general knowledge to the science now science general knowledge means does not only contain mathematical question people think like group a it's aptitude and reasoning so it's all math i'm not going to do that it's not like that aptitude should always be present in any competitive exam nowadays in india in any kind of exam it's always there now compared to those exams especially ibpspo and all those exams it's very very easy even though math questions are there but those are very flat very linear and the question the aptitude questions are also can be explained with a little bit of iq but in case of this group a the general science questions are also another part because in the 50 question is almost 40 60 distribution between this general science question as well general knowledge to the science that can be asked from any basic question from chemistry as well as a basic question related to physics a little bit but not more but mostly from uh, from the chemistry now chemistry is a really important part uh, to qualify the group A. Now the big question is always there what is the qualifying marks and what is the qualifying cutoff. Actually ICMR exam is conducted once every year and uh, this is mostly in the July as uh, this time it's about 16th July of 2017. ICMR exam provides very less uh, number of fellowship it provides almost 150 fellowships only. Uh, throughout um, the country and 150 fellowship and applicants are huge because you know most of the background people and students can apply for it so the competition is even more difficult compared to CSIR UGC net exam because the number of seats are limited so the question paper is easy number of seats are limited so the competition is increasing and increasing and in this case after attempting this this exam you will feel like you can qualify your exam is very good but don't stick to it because you know even though you have made a very good attempt for all the question in the exam the cutoff also will be very high and actually there is a criteria based on which the cutoff is measured uh, now you need to qualify in both a as well as in in the b or c group for you to be qualified and you need to have an aggregate of at least 55 percent marks in both group A as well as in group B or C. If you are applying for life sciences then you need to have at least 55% from A, 55% for B for you to be eligible to be present uh, in, 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 the, in the run uh, for qualifying okay which is not in case of CSR UGC net because in CSR UGC net earlier it was there but now the whole idea was to cumulative score that you can't uh, let's say you can uh, write only B only C if you qualify for the marks without even attempting any group you are qualified for CSR UGC net but in case of ICMR net you need to have 55% aggregate on average in each of the group and section that will test your knowledge of aptitude your your reasoning skills as well it will test uh, the idea of general knowledge to the science especially in the in field of chemistry so these are the things are the unique features about the icmr exam now once you know about the features of icmr exam the next part is about the preparation the strategy of preparation 
Now, <clears throat> I have a series of videos for CSIR UGC net. This is the first video I'm making for ICMR net. I'll also make uh, different videos of ICMR net, different guides and tips videos for ICMR. But for this time, as the exam is very near, I'm going to give you some quick tips because you know, the day is over. You have already like only seven days in your hand for the preparation. So by this time, what I can tell you is that look, look for the last previous year's papers, previous year question papers, you will find out the resemblance of the ICMR net paper more with the gate life science question paper, as well as you'll find the resemblance more with the group B of CSI UGC net paper. Now those questions are direct, those questions are flat, so you can answer them directly. If you don't know, you can't even answer. If you know, you can answer them directly. Those questions will not take more of your time so there is no problem with time management in case of ICMR net exam. Although there are a huge number of questions you need to attempt like 125 questions in two hours. Uh, but still, like if you take one minute to each question that gives you 125 minutes. So it's, you know, uh, almost over uh, two hours. So you can't even devote more than one minute. You can't even devote one minute to each of this question. So the questions are designed in a way you need to read the question and then and there you need to answer the question. So your strategy will be in the exam whenever you're reading the question you know the answer just fill it there. Don't take any much further time because your time is limited. 120 minutes you need to answer 125 questions. So it's less than a minute for every single question. Think about it a little bit. There is no chance of thinking about one question and then leaving it. There is no chance of that, no room for that. You need to read it, write it, read it, write it. That's the approach that you should take during the exam for this kind of exam. So, so don't need to think of like, like marking the answers first in the sheet, then filling the OMR. Don't do that. Do it directly at the time of uh, reading the questions. That is one thing. That is one big mistake that people do if they are not going to qualify for the exam. That's the fault that, that they mostly do. Apart from that, uh, for the seven days you have, look for the last year question papers, try to uh, see like, because you know, most people applying for ICM and net exam, the major target is CSR UGC net always, because CSR UGC net, if you qualify GRF, you also automatically given the ALS or lectureship. Lectureship uh, will help you to, to, to apply for the lectureship post in, in different institutes, which you need to go for all the UGC CSR net. ICMR will only give you a fellowship to conduct a PhD, to, to pursue your PhD, not any lectureship. That's why CSIR UGC again carry more weightage than ICMR net. So most people will apply for CSIR UGC net, less for ICMR net. But even though as you're preparing for CSIR UGC, same syllabus, same preparation, only thing that you need to know is simply for ICMR, B stick more for the group B. Those people who are very well done with group B, uh, has a mo uh, like have more chance uh, to qualify ICMR net exam. Okay, if you are strong in group B, that's a good sign that you are going to apply for ICMR exam and qualify it probably. So in this case, for this seven days, just recapitulate whatever you uh, understood, whatever you've learned. Look at the question paper because this time there's nothing much left to do. Just look at the question paper and try to think about what kind of questions are asking till which extent the questions are asked. So till that extent, you need to read every single topic. It's not necessarily that you need to read everything A to Z for every topic, but see, there are few regions from where the question are asked, pinpointed towards that region. Look for those regions and read the topic till that portion for each of this. I'm going to make more videos regarding ICMR exam and how you prepare yourself for ICMR exam uh, in the next series. But this is just to give you an overview of, uh, of the ICMR exam and how you can attain an ICMR exam, okay? Uh, but one thing, uh, one good thing about ICMR exam is that the research that are going on by funded by the medical council, uh, okay, uh, medical research council, uh, those, those researches you can conduct yourself in different universities, institutes ho and hospitals and medical colleges. So the room is huge and the real life application of your research is going to also be really, really good. And the fellowship offered by ICMR is also good. Like it's 25,000 for GRF and little hike for the SRF. Now again, the qualifying uh, cutoff, it depends on uh, the total number of students qualify because they only have 150 students to be qualified there. On the other hand, one other thing I can mention about ICMR is that ICMR net exam is conducted with 16 separate centers all across the India. So it's not a problem regarding the exam date uh, and where you can appear for it. But another important thing is uh, this ICMR exam uh, will also help you to prepare more for the group B. So if you're preparing both for CSIR UGC net as well as for ICMR, 
keep CSR UGC net more concrete for group C and keep ICMR more for group B that will be your target so if you're well in group B be very good in group B then increasing the chance in ICMR if you're very well in group C increase the chance in CSR UGC net and A is always common so always try to read A so that in a sense is ICMR net exam and I hope you learned some important facts about ICMR exam. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. And I'm going to make a series of know the examination series where you can have information about every single uh, biology and biotechnology exams out there and how to prepare for all these exams. So stay tuned and watch the channel. Thank you.